Okay, so today we're on the Roxburgh Gorge Trail which heads south out of uh, Alexandra. And uh, here this is it. I'm not sure if you can see the river, but it looks a bit uh, green and greasy. A bit like the little hopo. But uh, yeah. Early in the morning today, and uh, a bit cool out, which is good. The sun's just coming out, and this is just a 10 kilometer each way trip. And, uh, we'll have to turn back. The only way to get through is to get on a jet boat beyond uh, the 10 kilometer point. So the river is the River Clutha and it's flowing downstream to Roxburgh but it was um, dammed in 1947 as part of a hydroelectric scheme so this is now a sort of a lake even though it's flowing and it's about 30 kilometres to Roxburgh so it's, it's, this was a, a gorge that was filled up with hydro. down the gorge and we're going to have been to uh, get us down back down to the valley bottom and we'll see a bit of view of the gorge going uh, in the direction yeah. right rugged Time even. This is two coming past. Top speed, and there's the river. Minus caves. Probably um, in the gold rush. 1850s through to 1900, um, a lot of Chinese people came across to uh, look for gold and they dug themselves little holes in the cliffs to uh, their homes. So uh, we've got a great candy capacity, so we might get some good views around this corner down the. Oh, yeah. You can see this now, you can see it down the, uh, down the gorge. There's quite a bit of flow on the river, despite it being part of a reservoir, because they're letting out water at the, uh, over the top, as well as taking it through the turbines. There's been a lot of rain recently, so it's, uh, there's quite a bit of flow coming down from it. There we are. Narrow down at the uh, water level. That's why we've been uh, lifted up here. Got a little platformy bridge to get around some very steep stuff. Yeah, so the gorge is widened out a bit on this side, but it 
sheer drop on the far side. Wow. The sea's warmed up a bit. Taking a layer off. This is really getting warm down this gorge. Frank's one of the warmest um, individual locations in the country. Uh, I think the record temperature was somewhere around here, uh, about 40, 40 something degrees, just over 40 degrees. It's cold at night too. Nearly at the end of uh, this, uh, this section. So here we are, it's the end of this section of the trail. We have to get on a water taxi to go any further. We're 11 kilometres, which we're not going to do. Oh, and we've got a duck toilet to camouflage into the surrounds. <laughs> there we are, and there's the river. How's that? Well, we either swim the next bit or walk on water. Or get a taxi. Or get a taxi, which we haven't booked. Or go back north. Or go back. Yeah. But let's admire the view. Yeah, bye for now. So here we are. Roxburgh Gorge Trail Part 2. This is the southern section from the place where the jet boat would land if you'd used the jet boat. And we're heading further south towards the Roxburgh Dam. Very quiet, very wide trail. Certainly it is to start with. Right. So I think this is probably the most uh, interesting bit of the whole length. Um, it's unfenced bit with the cliff, but the rest of it is fairly tame. We're cycling it, the uh, cycle down it, and now we're going back up it. Uh, it's a pleasant trail, but it's uh, you know, in most places it'd be uh, pretty good by comparison to some of the ones we've been on. It's a bit uh, uh, just there. track of the lake and going back down I think you can see the track ahead of us a bit of hairpin type stuff I don't think we'll do all that we don't think we'll show all that but yeah the track. See, that's the tracks that are really messed it up. Especially on the hairpins. That lovely colours coming out in the lake. Greens with the sun on them. Wow. Look at that. Roxburgh 
Bridge Dam at the end of Roxborough Gorge. Hydroelectric dam that uh, generates about 60 gigawatts a year, which is just a bit less than uh, Ramapak on Sewer. Two gigawatts is pretty big. by the Lake Dunstan Trail, especially the platforms of bridges around the bluffs and outcrops. So, but it's, it's still a good trail, good quality surface.